Oh yeah, boys. Yeah. The Buffalito is here with the fresh Simpson yeah. seats. Look at that, dude. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Need something like that, dude? Where do they go? Uh, they go to sidebysideblogparts.com or email sidebysideblog.com at gmail.com. Simpson making the nicest seats out there. Fact. Big facts. They kill the design every time I say, hey, come up with something cool for the Buffalo. Somehow match the cage on this, to which they've never seen. They just got it dialed. Killer. Well, Maybe. on to part two. What we're really here to do today, part two of the new commander versus the Polaris General shootout. So we're going to do some fun stuff today. You guys saw us at Rocks and Valleys dealing with a bunch of deep, heavy snow, kind of doing some slow speed riding, some hill climbing and whatnot. Today, though, we're going to do some faster stuff. We're ripping some trails. We're going to hit some whoops. Yeah, these are big whoops out here. We're going to do some drag racing. Three, two, one, go! I think we're going to do a little tug of war. One, go! Ooh. So it's going to be a good day. A lot different conditions. Trails should be a lot harder. We should really be able to feel out the chassis and how they handle and how they perform, you know, at some speed. So very excited for that. Yeah, and a lot of you guys have been asking about Yamaha stuff, so we brought the only Yamaha thing that we could get, and that's a hoodie. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> so, <laughs> Unbelievable. There's your you R-Max. Anyway. Just wait. Just wait. Talking about the R-Max. You buying an R-Max? Probably not. Anyway, Nick Seuss, what are you wait, doing? Just wait, dude. Just wait. You ready to rip? I'm ready. What are you rip. driving? I'm driving the Commander at first, and then after that, I'm probably going to jump in the General. And then I'm going to do some things where I think about stuff, and then I may probably jump in this and realize that I should have just been driving this the whole time. But we're going to give this a fair shot. We're going to give that a fair shot. We're going to go out there. We're going to hit some whoops. We're going to go through some fast drills. We're going to do some tugging of warring. This already, he already said all that. What, today? He said that? Just a little bit earlier. Right now? Yeah. Just cut all that out. <laughs> no, no, I saw that, dude. I didn't hear any of that, dude. <laughs> all right, let's, that. let's just go rip. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah. Curious to see how this goes. So Nick and I were pushing that commander pretty hard on the way out and it did okay. The longer wheelbase really helped. Yeah, these are big whoops out here. I mean, she's bucking a little, but we're talking real big dog whoops. Yeah. And surprisingly, the general with the shorter wheelbase looks a little better out here.
All right, boys, the moment you've been waiting for. What side by side is quicker in a drag race? We have Nick driving the General. We have Rick driving the Commander. The Commander's got some accessories, so it gets a little bit lighter driver. There we go. bad spot there but yeah wow wow okay I really would have thought the general was a much faster but it did a really good job there commander did a great job as well wow all right they're gonna run one coming back wow spin city on the general oh my god oh my god you guys are idiots Someone during a drag race. Straight dude. up, got into some deep water. The steering wheel cranked out of my hand, and I hit him, dude. There's really not much I can do past that. All right, let's go somewhere where there's less water. Yeah, okay. All right, boys, we're back with some better traction. Here we go. Go boys. Three, two, one, go. Wow. Looks like the commander still came around the general. Unreal. Alright boys, what's the last thing you gotta do when you're comparing machines? You gotta tug them off. This is what we're gonna do. Do a little tug o' war. Not the longest strap ever, we'll be fine. All right, you're on it right there. Do your countdown, Doug, do your countdown. All right, three, two, one, go! <laughs> wow, that was a good one. I mean, that was fun to watch. That was fun to watch, I mean, done this before we all know this doesn't actually mean anything but you know what it's fun to do so <laughs> we're gonna do it <laughs> here we go one more time here we go Two, one, go oh! <laughs> Nick Seuss Rich Spencer Doug Butterfield well that was crazy huh big big day <laughs> that was super crazy How'd you guys feel? Another good day of ripping, man. I felt like uh, we learned a lot more today from very ripping much. these things again. So a lot of surprises. Very much so. Who wants to go first? Someone take go, it. Come Rich. on. Go. go yeah, go ahead, Rich. You were just right. in it, so. All right. Well, um, wasn't too uh, surprised by the tug of war we just did. I figured the general would have that bigger tire diameter. Seemed to hook up pretty good. Just yank this thing backwards. Uh, was very surprised with the drag race. I mean, driving the General, it feels way faster. I don't know if uh, it's just like the, uh, you know, throttle mapping or, or what, but the General feels faster. So to see this thing pull on it pretty much every race, very surprising. Very confusing. Uh, very confusing. <laughs> was impressed with how this thing did in the, uh, in some of the whoops that were out there. The small chop, it seemed to handle those pretty good. And even the bigger stuff, uh, it seemed to do all right. But when you got into the, uh, you know, rhythmic big dogs. I mean, it was all over the place with swapping all sorts of stuff. So, I mean, you could pretty much max this machine out in the trails today. Uh, whereas the general, when I was driving that, you know, you couldn't utilize the entire machine. I mean, you just go infinity miles an hour on that. You had to, you know, drive it with a little bit of caution. This thing, I mean, you could push pretty hard until, you know, you were doing one of these three <laughs> That's a fact. Dougie, how do you feel, buddy? Uh, <laughs> man, I'm still like processing all the thoughts from driving them, but uh, certainly the commander um, handled the trails better today. Was some of that due to the tires? You know, probably, maybe, but it definitely handled better in these snowy, sloppy conditions. It's definitely got a sportier feel to it. 
but if you are really going to try to push it hard ultimately the general will go further if you're really going to try to ride the trails and the big bumps fast it definitely will handle the big stuff further that being said you know we kind of view everything through a lens of what we're interested in doing which is driving very very fast you know in sport machines so you got to really pay attention to what is important with you you know to you in a machine like this so if you're a tall guy the commander's definitely got more leg room to stretch out but it's not as wide so if you're you know a bigger person and you're going to be riding in the commander it gets a little tight it's really hard for me to pick a favorite it really comes down to what kind of trails you're riding and what kind of riding you like to do i like both the machines a lot yeah for sure i'm I was right. su surprised by the drag race i you know same as rich thought that the general was going to be a lot faster it felt that way to me the clutching felt better um but it wasn't so yeah was Commander's what it was yeah that's pretty crazy how do you feel nick seuss yeah i think the general's motor is a lot smoother it's just a smooth motor and i think that's why you feel like you're going so much faster like the way it comes on it explodes it doesn't sound like it's it i feel like the commander makes a lot more sound than it does feel i guess you know but I guess I was totally wrong. <laughs> this is way faster. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, seriously. Crazy. As far as comfort goes, like, I love that commander. Straight up. Like, I would have chose that over the general today at any point. Like, it's more comfortable. It feels like you have more, uh, more, I mean, for me, it felt like I had more room. I like the lower seating position, which generally that's not, get it? Generally. <laughs> that's not the case, but. I felt like I can get in tune with just focusing on just the throttle and the steering, which in the general, and again, like Doug was saying, these tires are pretty much the worst tires you could choose on a day like today. Um, they just don't bite, and I feel like you're focusing more on putting inputs on just controlling it than like actually pointing it and going. Yeah, I remember when I was following you when I was driving the general, you were driving the commander, um, you were going through some trails with a lot to, a lot of detail we'll call yeah. it you know a lot of dynamics there's a lot of whoops there's a lot of turns and i would catch up to you in the you know whoops and straightaway section because it seemed like you would slow down a bit in there but when it came to turns like you would pull away just because of how much i would yeah. understeer through the turns. yeah so. interesting smaller tires in the front wider in the back it worked really good i mean those are fresh i mean those aren't you bad. See the, that those worked awesome in the tug of war, right? So there's a place for those. If you're buying this machine to do tug of wars on the street, but <laughs> dude, yeah. get the general. That, get the that, general for sure. You know, another thing too with the general is like it does have the walkers. Like you know, they're more aggressive suspension. Like you can put the, the limit on that is very high. Like you could push that pretty much as far as you can go. Like it'll it'll outperform you, hundred percent. That sucker will just keep going <laughs> as long as you push it. But for spot, stock suspension on this commander. I think that's excellent. Yeah. And nobody's going to really come. I mean, if you can come out here and push that thing as hard as we did today, you eat a lot of McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I, big takeaway for me is the new commander compared to the last generation commander is way, way, way better. Yeah. It's yeah. absolutely a ton better. 100%. So, I mean, the commander in my mind before, I would never, I, I didn't see a commander like, mm, I'm never going to drive that thing. Yeah, no. It does nothing for me. Zero interest. This thing is tight. Like, if I were a normal human being that freaking rode side-by-sides every day, I would 100% consider that thing as badass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. I think for me, I would still pick the General, personally. Yeah. I feel like I am squished in the car. It hurts my back way more, but it just feels sportier, yeah. and it, uh, it pushes better, and I like pushing stuff, so... It does push better, yeah. yeah. If you want to take one of these machines and go as fast as you can through the roughest terrain, the yeah. general's going to go faster. And also have a bed. I think that's a big deal, too, <laughs> right? So I think that's, uh, yeah. Hands on uh, the one that's supposed to be a little bit more fast. But... Yeah, the X XTP. If we could get one of those, really that would cool be really good to, to see. Able but to try one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just if everybody's listening that should be listening, it would be cool if we can get one with the nicer shocks. So. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that probably wraps it for the day. We've got some time left with this machine, so we'll see if we can find some more ways to compare them in the future. Yeah. Uh, but for now, it's uh, taken a beating, and it's done really well. So overall, I'm going to say good unit. 
And yeah, just thanks guys for being with us as always. There's no way we'd be able to do these reviews and get these machines and show them off if it wasn't for you guys. So for everybody who's already subscribed and who's buying the parts on the parts site, donating on Patreon and buying the merch. Remember we got that new limited time merch out right now. We got not much of a window to buy it. And once it's gone, it's gone. So check that stuff out. And uh, yeah, just thank you guys big time for doing all that. If you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing that helps us out big time we'll be back here in a couple days with maybe some more commander stuff and maybe some other stuff got some cool things coming so see you guys then yeah i mean doug brought up comparisons and uh you know one thing that there's no comparison of is how clean this new merch is all right check out this oh, oh right. my god oh, no. oh so clean <laughs> no comparison here we got the best stuff get some of it yourself side by side blog parts.com forward slash merch buy one Buy six. Just don't buy none. <laughs> That's a fact. Okay, see you. Cool car.